three minutes start two. I'm a radiological scientific officer, and ARC-2 is our nuclear survival complex. One of the most important things about a survival complex is having an adequate supply of water. Water next to air is considered the second most essential supply in a shelter. One of the most important things in any survival complex is a good source of water. Our water comes from a well, but we keep a storage of 5,000 gallons of it and a big water tanker. It's actually a big milk tanker, like you see going down the road, stainless steel milk tanker. It says on the side of it, milk. Well, ours is parked underground here, sloping down here into the shelter, and it has this 5,000 gallons of water. on hand. We keep refilling it to make sure we always have a supply if there's a while the pumps are off or something. For every system, water, air, sewage, electricity, security, and so forth, it is important to have a backup system and a backup system for the backup system. Well, not everyone is blessed with the water sources that we are. And, but we have uh, for since the 1800s, uh, Jean's families lived here in this area and used these water sources and they pumped them using what are called water rams. Now this is a commercial water ram and I've been studying how to people can just build these things out of parts they, they can probably find around them. But the way the water ram works is that the force of the water coming down the hill comes through the uh, ram and there's a little valve here that pops up and down and a spurt of water goes through here and it forces some of the water then up the hill and uh, this uh, is a air column that uh, uh, balances the water going up so the water is then forced up the hill. Half your water just spills out onto the ground but it's just the force of the water falling and the marvelous thing about this, it doesn't take any electricity to pump the water. The water is just the water falling that causes it to be lifted. Now, it is lifted 10 times the distance that falls. So if the water falls 10 feet, you lift it 100 feet. And one idea that I have for this in cities is that people will carry water up to the second story of a building. They can use a water ram, and the water ram will then press the water on up to the 20th story of the building and they use the falling water that they brought up to water their garden or whatever down below. This is the pump room where, and this is the main supply of water to the shelter. The pump room gets the water out of the well. These are the two major pumps right here that we use for pumping the water out of the well and they pump the water out into this 500 gallon stainless steel whole, a settling tank where the water settles and then from there we take the water through that pump and put it into the pressurized system and then from the pressurized system we move it up to the 5,000 gallon stainless steel uh, holding tank that, where we keep a, uh, that much water and back up and supply in case for some reason we aren't able to pump water right at any time. The well is inside the shelter itself. It is blasted down through solid rock. Besides several pumps, we have a winch and bucket system for bringing up the water. Okay, well, we're standing in the women's washroom. We have men's washrooms, women's washroom. And each of them have a number of stalls. And uh, the di little difference here in the women's washroom, while we have a uh, a uh, half dozen sinks here for the women. Uh, we have also at the end of it, some lower sinks here behind me uh, for children. This is the sink room for washing dishes. We have hot water tanks and alternative hot water heating and a number of ways of purifying the water, such as using bleach, ultraviolet, or a distiller. Thank you for watching. And please remember, that ARC-2 
is not just about your survival. It's about service to humanity and preparing to reconstruct society. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world.